We picked up the keys last week and immediately noticed there's a fat chip in the window. Yeah, we also have the electricians and plumbers coming. Yeah. That is the dirty work that needs to happen before our contractors start on our lofty ambitions for our beautiful fit out. Um, the shop is obviously empty, so we thought we would take the opportunity today to show you guys the space and take you through some of the things that we're hoping to build in our new store. There are keys. <laughs> the hey MTV, my name's Sam and welcome to my crib. <laughs> uh, so, new shop, completely empty at the moment. But when you walk into any shop, you want to be sort of like impacted with something amazing. So we're custom building a massive, massive bar here. Huge stuff of concrete top. DJ Let's go in here. Little tin area here to check out with. Huge coffee machine going back here. And then here, shoe display. This corner here, we're going to have like, and again, a custom built seating area. What's it called? Uh, it's called a bonquette. A banquet is a seat or bench which is specially designed to fit into a space, typically running along a wall. Bonquette. Thank you, Helen, for that one, by the Cheers, way. Cheers, Helen. The big plans are to have some really beautiful brass clothing rails that will display all of the batch suits. Over here, we'll have two changing rooms built into the wall. And just into this little nook here, we'll have a few tables and chairs for people to sit. We can work there. Our customers can come and relax and enjoy a coffee. Ambitious, I know, <laughs> but I think it's gonna look good. And even better, we're over two floors. One of the beautiful things about 9 to 11 Shorts Garden is it has this fantastic wide staircase, which means that we can have a two floor shop, basically. Customers can come up and down this staircase. It's a bit dark, it doesn't have much natural lighting, so we've got some nice plans to have some light traps along the side, which will have a nice soft glow. So down here is our rave dungeon. <laughs> um, it will be left like this, strictly for really, really nitty parties. <laughs> <laughs> Only semi-true. We're actually planning on here having a plant wall, probably fake because there's not enough natural light to keep plants alive. Little podcast set up here. And then the big centerpiece of down here is a huge fitting platform, which goes here. Um, like old traditional suit shop or wedding dress fitting. But I have storage. So we're blocking off this whole wall. One thing that you guys might not know is that when you build a commercial space, people passing by are technically not allowed to see in whilst it's being built. So we're splashing out on a really nice expensive vinyl to cover the windows, including the doors. Um, that's being installed this week. It's gonna be a really beautiful piece of artwork. So very excited for you guys to see that. I'm very excited for it to go up. It's gonna look super cool. Squeaky bum time as six men take off our broken window. Six people were needed to do that. The pane of glass weighs 200 kilos apparently. Usually you put a crane in the road to lift it on, but the road's too thin. So, how many people does it take to change a window of glass? Six. Six. But yeah, happy with the result, it looks great. Yeah. I have got a little bit of an issue with something quite important, which you don't really think about until you do stuff like this, which is Wi-Fi, where basically the only cable that comes into the building is from here, and that's from next door's unit. Basically means that we can't use it, because you have to have what's called a way lead, which is new to me, but essentially a three-way contract between us, the internet provider, and the landlord, which says who's looking after the cabling. But if it goes through their unit, then it ha they have to be included as well, which just isn't gonna happen. So, pulling my hair out at the moment, because the signal's not great in this area, and Wi-Fi is very, very important to be able to check out and do the things that a shop needs to do. So we're six weeks out. We've started paying rent already. Can't do anything until we get the landlord sign off. Eager to get going, because currently we're just leaking cash into this project, so. Stay tuned, we'll keep you updated. <laughs>